Okay, I would like to introduce the toolbox for physicists. Um, there's two, uh, two main part of it. One is the unit, another is the limit. So obviously unit is, for most of the physical quantities, there's a lot of units associated with it. For instance, the velocity has a unit of a meter, uh, like length over time, so meter per second. And so, so it matched with the, with the expression, the really rudimentary expression of L over T. So say if you don't know like the acceleration formula, then the length, length equals to acceleration dotted by time square over two, you could essentially figure out the, the unit of the acceleration by doing such things. For instance, M, the, sorry, the, the length is, is have the unit of meter. Two, of course, is unitless. And T, time, has a time, has a, has a time square, so a, S square. So the, the unit of A, obviously, will be M, M over S squared. Just divide this to here. Then, yes, and of course, you can see M, M over S squared multiplied by S, S squared. So one of the examples that I can think of is, for instance, after you solve a whole lot of a uh, lot of a uh, complicated uh, question, you ended up getting this um, this expression. So volume equals to three pi r squared. So you should be sad. Why is that? Because because the unit of this expression is meter squared. So r radius, for instance, ha has a unit of length or m uh, or meter, but but the volume should have a unit of m cube. So this expression, just by looking at it, is definitely incorrect. So you could just use this strategy to exclude a lot of uh, tr uh, multiple choices, choice choices. Uh, second, second toolbox is a limit. You can take the limit to x equal to zero, take limit to infinity, take the limit to wherever clo infinitely close to the point of interest. So for instance, let's look at one really simple um, scenario of a, a train going across a bridge. The length of the train is LT the length of the bridge is LB. The train is going to the, at a speed of V. Uh, the question asks the time, the when the, tr the head of the train enter, from the train enter, the head enters the bridge to the, to the tail, leaving the bridge. So pretty much it's that. So somehow you, you, get, a, you get an answer of T equals L bridge over V. I mean, it's kind of like intuitive way of thinking about it. So let's take the limit and see what will happen. So let's take the limit of the bridge going to zero. So as you can think that the bridge is here, then the train has to go from here to here, right? So for instance, here my finger is a bridge, we make the length of the bridge to zero. So the train, for instance, this is the train. So the train has to go from here to here. But the, the velocity of the train is finite, then, then this, doesn't make, this expression won't make sense because if, you did, if the length of the bridge goes to zero, then the time will go to zero. Since t equals to LB over V that you derive. This will go to zero, which doesn't make sense at all. So, so, so of course, this answer is incorrect. So how about, like, let's say, we, we, don't, we don't even know, we don't even know the answer. We don't know, we don't know physics, the common sense is out of your brain, but we can just use only the limit and unit to get an answer. So how do I do that? 
we have a few quantity here. The known is a velocity, has a unit of m over s. The, we have length of the train, length of the bridge, which has a unit of meter. And we have, we're asking for time, which has a unit of s. So those two are known, we want s, so how do I do that? Obviously we can get this, right? Something L over V, because L has unit of M, you want to cancel the M and left with the S. So that's it. That's how, how, how to do it for, for a really simple case. Right? Obviously, this case, if the case is really complicated, we won't use it to work, use it to do that. So, say, if we, if we make, if we make the length of the bridge go to zero, the, ca the car length matters, as you can tell, because the time is non-zero, then it has to have a component of the train hanging around here then we know that we have to have this component. So let's take about, think about the train. The length of the train go to zero. So for instance, this, this is a bridge, and the train become like a point, the length of the train. So you have to go from here all the way to here. So it takes time. Then that means we have to have a component of the bridge as well. And we only have one velocity, and that's the answer. That is the correct answer. So I just solved, I mean, in a way, I solved this question by not knowing anything, not knowing anything in terms of physics, but using the toolbox for physicists. Yes, and this is also important for people who want to take a qualifier for who, like for your PhD candidacy. Because sometimes you don't, you're not allowed to get like cheat sheet or some or something like that. So using those things to check, and even sometimes in the desert you don't know any, you don't have any formulas. You can use that to come up with some formulas using the known and unknown, and just come up with the, the answer. You might might have some credit or might actually get it correct. 